So you have the Five of Swords, Venus and Aquarius, Taurus, Libra, Aquarius, as well as Capricorn energy. You also have Temperance, all right, and Cap, the Knight of Pentacles, Leo, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius energy. Okay. Hidden energy is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, and right underneath that is the King of Wands in reverse. The Cancer Leo, a Cancer Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay. If you're in a relationship, there is erectile dysfunction in the future. Like, especially if you're a man, you are not sexually aroused by your significant other or you're not feeling sexually stimulated or you cannot get aroused for whatever reason by your spouse okay by your boyfriend by so maybe if you're a masculine energy you have a difficulty being aroused or being sexually stimulated yeah and there's like major difficulty in the bedroom. There's just no attraction. Okay. Um, there's also a feeling of poor health. If there's a masculine energy here, like they're not in good health. Um, or they're motivated to be in this relationship by money. Okay. This is someone who plays too many video games. With the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. It's someone who's not financially stable um a thief like someone who steals money or uses people for money has body dysmorphia like they don't like themselves physically there's something about themselves that they don't really like okay and this dynamic is not teaching you to love yourself more it's not doing that there's gonna be an arrest that escalates in violence Okay, you may also hear of some type of the Five of Swords, like someone, you're going to do something out of revenge, okay, or, or there's a masculine energy doing something out of revenge towards you, okay. It's almost like you thought that this was a, like, a good opportunity or... Something you were always going to be able to have or hold on to. It could even be a person. Like you always thought you'd be able to hold on to something or someone. But that's halting them in their life as well as you in your life. And you're missing out on opportunities because of it and they are as well. It's almost like you... If you're a masculine energy, you're angry. You're angry, you're upset. If you're in a relationship, you cheat. There's a masculine energy here who's in a relationship, but he cheats in the relationship. He's not faithful whatsoever. Whoever you're romantically connecting to, if you're single and you're a feminine energy, right? So you're a feminine energy and you're single, whatever. And you're connecting to someone who is a masculine energy, but they are cheating. Like they will. They, they're not looking for a relationship, they're not financially stable, and they're not emotionally available for a relationship, or they're only interested in you for your money. Or your attention. Okay. If you're a feminine energy, you're also not finding somebody attractive anymore. Like, you don't find a masculine energy attractive anymore. Why does this feel like some type of, like, almost feels like you held on to a person, place, or thing to win. You did it at, like, in the future, you've done all this stuff, right, to win. To have this individual, to have this person, or to keep this person, place, or thing. And you realize, right, that you didn't win anything.
This is like when someone holds on to a person, place, thing, could be an ex, whatever, right? And it's like no one fights you for it. Like, have it. Have that person. Have it. But you're realizing it's not a win to have this individual. It's not a win. It's a burden. Nine of Pentacles over this person will drain you financially. They will drain you of your self-esteem, your money, your finances, your resources, with the King of Wands in reverse. This is someone who's not even faithful or, or has no intention to be faithful, has no intention to be in a real commitment or relationship with somebody. So it's not a win. It's not like, you know what I'm saying? It's like when people are like, oh, well, at least I got the guy. But then this is the guy. You know what I'm saying? That's not, this isn't a win. This is a mass manager who could just be very stingy. Like, they don't have any money to give. They don't have anything to really give you. Without the sex, without the money, it's almost like... It's a wake-up call for you, too. You know? Because although this person is extremely low vibrational as a masculine energy, you attracted in this individual or you dealt with this individual because you vibrationally align with them energetically. Meaning, you're just as unhealed. Like, really did attract like. So you're realizing the reason that other people have walked away or allowed you to have this individual is because these people did not see this individual as a problem. They sort of left you and this person to your own devices of this situation, but it's not stable. You feel like you're missing out on opportunities. This can be a career, job, money, love, right? Relationships, friendships, possible connections. Because of this, it's, it's not a success. It's almost like, was it worth it? That's what you're looking at. You're like, I did all of this, right? I've dealt with this individual for this long. And this is a, was it worth it? There's a reason that other people sort of let you have them. Like, oh, he's still dealing with his ex? He's still dealing with have him. That's a red flag. He's only dealing with his exes still because he's a narcissist. That's a, that's Narcissism is such a, it's a word that has been thrown around so loosely. But diagnose narcissists, and this is even statistically speaking, stay connected to people that they were legitimately in a relationship with and that person is their ex. They only stay connected to this individual right? it's following them on social media, right? Or it's still, you know, staying connected to them, even though this person's trying to move on to a relationship, whatever out of the feeling of wanting to still try to control that individual having a backup supply in case the new person that they meet doesn't meet all the things that they're seeking which that person will eventually not meet it and they'll have to move on to another supply move on to another supply because they're not looking within themselves it's almost like you may be upset that this individual is maybe a thief or maybe they are financially unstable or they don't value themselves or love themselves and he doesn't take care of his body or he has no confidence he's not very good in career he's not respected by other people people do not respect this masculine energy at all with the king wants it. they're not respecting him There's nothing to respect because he would abandon you in your time of need when you need this person the most he will not be there for you know, it's almost like, is it worth it? Is, is this really... Because you, it's almost like in the future, you, you're doing whatever it takes to win, right? This connection with this person, place, or thing. But you realize no one is fighting you for this individual. They're just not worth it that.
you know, no one's fighting you for this. And you recognize you're not happy after doing all of this. Because this person isn't even attempting to cross the finish line. They will not cross the finish line with the Knight of Pentacles. They don't have an intention to. Now, you can also be the masculine energy here. And you're just not feeling very confident in yourself, not feeling very sure about yourself. You're not looking for a relationship right now. That's not what you're looking for. If you're in one, you're unfaithful. You're, there, there's no way. There's absolutely no way that if you're a masculine energy in a relationship, that you're faithful to who you're in that relationship with. There's no way. Or that you're in it for love. There's you could be in it for sex, money, or status. But not love. Let's see what your advice is, Capricorn. I feel like you are There's like no sex, there's no no intimacy. You're hiding the relationship because you're ashamed of the individual. They could be a Leo, a Sagittarius, a Pisces, and a Pisces. They could be. They could be hiding you or you're hiding them because you know it's not a relationship that's actually going to last in the long run. It's something to be, the parts of you that you're not willing to get to know. So you may be mad that this individual is, you know, a thief, narcissist, whatever, that's not but you only attracted in that energy because you're vibrating on the same energetic flow. Okay. All right, your advice is the Four of Cups, Moon and Cancer. That can be Pisces, Sagittarius, or Lucius. You may be feeling disappointed, but there's something good on the way. Okay? Never give up, never lose hope. What you want is coming soon. The affirmation is Miracles happen to me every day. I trust the universe and I am thankful for all its wonders. Every day for a week, for a week, right? I make miracles happen 21 times. Right here, man or a woman, the overall lesson that you're going to realize is if you're not willing to learn something new, you don't have the patience to do that, to learn about yourself, to learn something new before you... This is like having a bleeding heart and then saying, oh, I'm not going to heal that as a knight of pentacles or if you're a feminine energy and you're in a relationship with this individual and you know that they're like this or whatever. It's like having a, a bleeding heart and deciding to not heal the heart but just keep bleeding all over the place. Instead, of, it's just like, okay, admit that you're hurt. Admit that this isn't healthy. Admit that you want to actually be happy and that you're going to continue to the same cycle over and over and over and over again until you can stop. So you stop and you heal or else you're just going to keep leaning on that one up and how's that fair? How's that fair for other people to get hurt? It's not. I feel like there's a lot of financial loss. There's financial loss here. You have the King of Cups in reverse. The person is emotionally manipulative. Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, or Pisces. You're dealing, I mean, this is someone who does not believe in making love. This could be somebody who believes in force, like sexual abuse with the King of Cups in reverse. It could be someone who is not emotionally available because they're not even financially stable. Person could be suffering in their career. They're overindulging in things because they're not happy with themselves. They're not listening to their intuition. They're not faithful. If there is a relationship with here, they're not a good they they're not a good father figure. Not you're allowing yourself to either be cheat, cheated on or you are allowing yourself to be emotionally manipulated by a masculine. Either 
either way, I'm using it so much better. If you're in a relationship and you're a mask and energy, you already checked out. You just have to set it out loud to them. Or you, in a way, you have through your actions. You've done it through your actions. But they're just, hold, they're just holding on to it. Like, they don't want to see the reality of it. Because if they see the reality of it and they say, look, it's actually not working, the relationship will end. So, someone's just, like, not saying it out loud. It's not a good feeling. It's got chill on the left side, but that's not a good feeling. Um, you could just you could just have this person just to say that you have somebody. You should. I mean, if you feel like you have to do all that, then being single is the right thing. Okay, it's okay to be single. There's nothing wrong with being single and giving yourself that love that you are seeking and allowing yourself to attract that in into your life. But when I feel like this is just not healthy. Where you always, you know, use your free will and discernment in your own situation. This is just coming up in I see that there's a lot of overindulgence, like major overindulgence. I feel like the truth comes out. It's like the truth that you both know, but you're not saying out loud. This can be an ex, this can be your partner, your boyfriend, your husband, your girlfriend, your wife, whoever it is. Someone's saying, and truth. Like I, don't, like, I don't know, the truth is coming out in some way. It can even be someone else says it. Someone is saying the truth. And it's like, oh my God, like, it's like toothpaste. You know, all the toothpaste has come out. You cannot put that toothpaste back into the toothpaste container. It's just, it's out now. And I just gotta deal with it. you should know as well about the four of cups is there's rejection coming in the future okay like you're going to be rejected romantically in something or this could even be like career um, if it's about love like you'll be receiving love offers but you're not going to like the love offers you're receiving okay and if you're in a relationship, like if you're single, you'll receive offers and love and career, but you're not going to like the offers you're receiving. You're also not going to like your career and your job, okay? You're not going to like what you do for a living, okay? If you're in a relationship, you are not interested romantically in your partner. You are looking at other love interests outside of this relationship or they are, but you're not, you know, taking action on it. They're not taking action on it, but they really, really want to. You really, really want to. Like, you really want to go after the, the love offices. They really want to go after that. It's one of all things, but neither one of you are doing it. Because you're like, oh, well, I have this relationship, but you're not romantically interested in your partner, and they're not romantically interested in you. 
because it's boredom. You're bored out. You're you're bored with career. You're bored with a relationship. Okay, and you lost interest, lost romantic or emotional feeling for it, or the want to bring stability into it, to put effort into it, to take action, or be sexually interested in it. Like you're not able to get aroused. Ace of Wands is also in reverse. It's just hanging, like you know, amen. Nothing's really popping. It could get to the point where someone's trying to take like their mass and energy, like, and you're in a relationship or something, and they're having erectile dysfunction. Someone could be trying to get someone like take supplements or something and try to get them aroused. It's not working. It's not working. Oh. This is for your reading, Capricorn. Thank you so much. I can see it. Oh, shit. <laughs>